y'all, I'm Jessie Harry and welcome to this week's grocery haul. This week's grocery haul was from Aldi and Kroger and I spent about $112 for everything you see here with the exception of three 12 packs I have out in the garage. They were doing the uh, 3 4 11 deal at Kroger so I got those. They're just not shown right here because they go in the garage and I don't want to bring them inside. So this is groceries for uh, four people. For a week, that's three adults, one child, preteen, um, or whatever. We do, of course, have some stuff at home that is not included in here that we're going to use for the week, but this is still a bulk of what we'll use. And if you stay tuned after the video, you will see my meal plan for the week that we're going to use these groceries for, and it'll give you a sneak peek on what will be in my what's for dinner on Friday or Saturday, <laughs> whenever it uploads, one of those days. All right, so let's get started with what I got. So we got three oranges. This is not our fruit for the week. This is actually for a recipe. We got these, I got these last week. So if you watched last week's grocery haul, you see I got these um, folio. <laughs> Ooh, tell me if I'm pronouncing it right. It looks like folio, probably something completely different. Um, we get these for sandwiches, kind of something more fun than just the regular sliced bread because we're not eating out because of quarantine. So I put these in the fridge because the fresh bread will mold pretty quickly. All right, then we have some multi-grain bread. I normally don't get this kind, but they didn't have the normal kind I get. And then the other normal kind, the Dave's Killer, is really expensive. And I was really trying to keep the grocery budget super low this month. I mean, sorry, this week. Actually, I'm trying to keep it low for the entire month of May. Um, I feel like everybody can feel me on this one with the quarantine and everything being on shutdown and toilet paper costing a million dollars and all that stuff. All right, so we've got some raspberry lemonade. This is for my son. He loves it, but I'll be honest, I think that I got the kind that has pulp in it. He's not really down for that, but he'll still drink it. Right in here, I got two bushels, bushels, things, whatever, uh, the collard greens for whatever dinner my husband decides to cook this week. He just asks for these. He'll cook whatever protein we have in the freezer. Some tomatoes. This is for sandwiches for the week or my crunch wrap that I make or for salads at lunch if I feel like it, which I'm going to say, I'll say I want a salad. We got some cilantro. This is for if my son decides to do burritos this week, and also um, a casserole that I'm gonna make. Three lemons. Um, I think I need one of these for a recipe, and then I always like to keep lemon on hand just because we like it on everything <laughs> broccoli, stuff like that. Um, I like to eat it on top of my steamed vegetables, and so does my son. Basically, my whole family does. We're a big lemon household. It's really hard every week not to pick dinners that are basically lemon flavored. Uh, we have a cucumber for dinner salads, a zucchini for a lettuce wrap thing that I'm doing this week. Uh, one red bell pepper for a lettuce wrap thing I'm doing. Some scarlet pearls, grape tomatoes. Um, this is for a dinner salad I'm doing where salad is the main menu, not a side dinner salad. Got a pineapple, very beautifully colored. I love it when they're yellow like that. That one's gonna be really sweet. Some peanut sauce. We go through this stuff like crazy. I buy the frozen dumplings and we cook them in the air fryer. I think that they're better once you steam them and then fry them, but throwing them in the air fryer for like 10 minutes is so much easier to have for lunch. And my son could probably just really drink this in his mouth and then put a dumpling in there as opposed to just a little bit of sauce on the dumpling. You can make your own, but it's a lot easier just to have that in the fridge. <laughs> Some uh, Thai inspiration sweet chili sauce. This is for those lettuce wraps I was talking about. Some sriracha. This takes forever to go through, but we're almost done with the bottle we have. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss it because who knows how long we've had it, to be honest with you. I don't know if you use this, if it takes you a million years, but I feel like it takes us a million years. 
some garbage bags. We actually ran out this week, last night, not last night. Some dish washing gel. Some fresh mozzarella cherry size balls. I normally get these at Aldi, but they actually did not have any, which was really sad. So they probably would have been cheaper. These weren't too bad. I want to say wood tax, they were like $4. That's for the salad that I'm making. Uh, two avocados. Uh, this is for the salad that I'm making and also just to have. We like it on our lunch wraps, sandwiches, whatever. My son loves avocado also. Some Boston lettuce. I'm gonna use these for the lettuce cups. For those, oh, for those lettuce wraps. It looked good. It really wasn't, it was probably the same price as the regular lettuce, so I got it. Uh, a thing of mushrooms, also for the lettuce wraps. What else is for the lettuce wraps? Hopefully they're good. Some green onions, also for the lettuce wraps, and just because I adore green onions, I eat this on everything. Uh, another pineapple because it was two for four at Kroger and they looked really good. This one's a little bit more green. I got the other one really, really yellow so that way we can slice it up now. And this one, I'll give it a couple days before I slice up. A thing of regular lettuce that I'll cut up and put in a Ziploc bag to have for the week. Then I got these three minute microwave pizzas. I don't know, I've never had these before, but you're supposed to be able to microwave them and then be crispy. I hate microwaving anything like this. Um, anything that's supposed to be either microwaved or in the oven, I prefer it in the oven because I like things crispy as opposed to soggy. Sogginess grosses me out, it's just a texture thing. Um, I don't normally eat these for lunch because I would weigh a million pounds, but I like to keep them on hand especially for my son because you know he's doing his distance at home learning and so it's good for him to have something he can just cook really quick and then eat so he can get done with his school work because he's just really dying to do that and he's normally not done until the afternoon but hopefully these are good uh he actually won't eat this one or this one probably i really got these two because i thought maybe my husband would like to have something different some chicken and buttermilk biscuits i get these a lot my family really likes them. They're very tiny, but we normally try and have fruit with our breakfast too. So these, two of these little biscuits and some fruit for my son is really enough for him. Um, of course, he's welcome to eat more than two or add anything else he wants to. He can eat until he's full, but I like to keep these on hands. I prefer the bag, but they didn't have any, any bags at the store. The, the bags are like the bigger bulk ones. They didn't have any because everyone's, you know, when they finally go to the store, they buy in bulk. So that's what I got. And we have some chicken breast, which I probably buy every single week because we go through this pack for dinners. And then I normally meal prep a little bit. So that big old thing of chicken, God, they are so big. Uh, we got some ground chicken. That's for the wraps. Um, my son hates ground chicken and ground turkey. But this recipe has a lot of seasonings. Uh, you'll see it in this what's for dinner coming up later this week. Uh, so hopefully, normally if I season it really well, he it doesn't bother him, but he can definitely taste the difference. So fingers crossed that that seasoning really hides that. Um, Alaskan cod, I'm doing a recipe with this that this week. I prefer salmon, but my son loves cod. He loves, loves, loves it. He loves salmon too, and he loves tilapia. I think my husband one week was like, you should buy some cod, you know, we should try a different kind of fish. I normally stay away from white fish, just, I don't feel like it has that much flavor to it. And we made it for my son and he loved it. So I'm going to do like a citrus basil recipe with it this week. That's what those oranges are for. So they only have it in the two pound family bag at Aldi. I just went ahead and bought it. I think it was like $10, but this will be good for like two dinners, I think. Has eight servings per container. So yeah, for our family it'll be two, so there'll probably be another cod recipe in the weeks to come. Let's see, we have some broccoli right here. Um, this isn't needed this week. I got it because we used a bag last week and I like to make sure that we replace that. 
Same with this cauliflower rice. If you watched my last uh, What's For Dinner, I did a low carb chicken and cauliflower rice, so I used one of my bags. Uh, the recipe called for a head of cauliflower, but I mean, why'd I set up when you can just buy it like this? Lazy. Uh, okay, so then I got chimichangas. We got the chicken and cheese and steak and cheese. I got these last time, but I didn't get the Aldi brand. I got, I think, whatever brand from Kroger, maybe? And the guys really liked them. I, I won't eat these. The guys will eat these. Uh, they really liked them, and so I saw them at Aldi today, and I was like, yes, we're going to try this brand. And if they don't like them, that's fine. I'll buy the other kind. I just like to get them different kinds of easy food instead of buying the constant chicken nugget pizza route all the time. So, all right. So that is everything I got this week. Like I said, I have other stuff, you know, for the week. We have um, eggs, hash browns, different things like that. But primarily for breakfast, like the guys will eat the chicken biscuits and then some fruit. We still have strawberries and blueberries from last week. And then I'm gonna cut up a pineapple. And then for lunch, you know, cause we're at home, we'll eat leftovers. I normally make uh, like a crunch wrap or a salad or something um but the guys will well my husband will eat leftovers or sometimes he'll eat one of my things so uh, and the rest of it is for dinners this week i think i there are a few dinners and I think my husband's cooking one and there's nothing really outlined for that but he'll just pick whatever anyways stop rambling <laughs> um so if you wait until the end of this video the next slide is going to show my meal plan for the week um if you're interested in that and like i said it will give you a sneak peek on what's going to be on my next what's for dinner um if you haven't watched my last what's for dinner please make sure to go and watch it if you like that kind of stuff it had um, a weight watchers meal a low carb meal and then a very green stir fry so if you're looking for healthier recipes in these warm months you should go check that out anyways i hope that everyone is having a wonderful day and has a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button bye